This is Abnormal Entertainment. Welcome, everyone, to Floribama Slammers. This is Kevin Moyers. I'm Frankie G. And we have a two-parter. Double dipping. Yes. Uh, MTV decided to air episodes six and seven together, and they kind of go together. It kind of runs along one long two days, really. Yeah, it worked out well. They did it because the VMAs are next Monday during the normal time slot. So yeah. They, they uh, smush these two together, and they do. They blend almost seamlessly together. Yeah, but it does work with my kid's schedule, so it was like they consulted me. You know MTV. <laughs> they like to think about 40-something. Stands for 40-something. Moyers, Moyers Television. Yeah. Uh, let's think about the 40-something dads. <laughs> but, yes, we uh, we s- sat through both episodes. A lot, uh, a lot going on. A lot of Logan. We finally got Gator J. Finally. <laughs> and that was quite a reveal. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know. Where should we start? I guess... In the beginning of episode six, we had uh, Amy still upset. Yeah, we picked up right where the last episode ended. Yeah. Candace and Cody arguing in the living room. Amy's crying. Yeah. And we're still mid-argument. Yes. And Amy was crying because uh, Candace said that Cody was just using Amy to make Candace jealous and... That went crazy, so Amy wanted to get a sad pizza. Yep, they wanted <laughs> a sad... For... Call pizza. Call pizza. Yeah, just for her and Nelsa. Nobody else gets to have this pizza. <laughs> I love me a good sad pizza. Yeah. It's usually uh, one of those frozen ones. You just usually. chuck in the oven <laughs> and eat about half of it, and then ten minutes later you eat the rest. Yeah, that's about what they did, and they were eating in bed, too, <laughs> so there was that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but they got through all of that. Uh, I, the one thing we, we have to, uh, address from the previous episode was, uh, or, or was that six to seven? No, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself the here. timeline's all yes. over the place. It, it, it was just crazy. It was all jammed together. So I'm getting kind of mixed up here. Uh, I've stopped taking notes halfway through. Oh, I know. It was just, it was too much. It really was too much. Um, uh, everybody was starting to get sick though. There was that happening. Yeah. And it started with Courtney. Before the sickness segment, though, we did have the next day the girls tried to go get their nails done to try to bury the hatchet after the um, Candace and Amy yeah. snafu. But that was where Courtney was really starting to get sick. That's, yeah. She couldn't leave the house. Courtney was still sick. She was, And she was pretty bad, too. Uh, the guys wanted to have a guy's day out, and they were all excited about that. And uh, they went to the beach walk down the whole long uh, plank, what, what is it, it's almost like a pier from their back porch <laughs> that leads all the way down to the beach. You couldn't get more perfect with this house. And they went out there, and the girls went and got their nails done, except for Courtney, who was just completely fucked up. Mm-hmm. And she ended up going to the hospital all day to get taken care of. So she was pretty much out of the picture most of the day. Um. But the ladies getting their nails done, that's when it it was just completely awkward. It was really awkward. They're driving there. Nilsa tries to make a little joke and get everybody pumped up, and yeah. it's just crickets in the car. He just, Amy, uh, clears her throat. Candace is eating Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Chomping down on that. But they did finally address things as they're sitting there getting their pedicures done. And it seemed to ease up a little bit between Amy and Candace. I don't know. It, it, Candace gave a better explanation, I think, of Cody just saying like everything he was doing mm-hmm. was to make Candace jealous. But I don't know if Amy was completely buying it. She's like, why would my friend do this? <laughs> just the disbelief that anybody could hurt their feelings or anybody could lie to right. them in this whole in this whole two episodes, really. Uh, especially episode six. I mean, it's just like, why? Why would somebody hurt my feelings? Why would somebody lie to my bestest friend in the whole world? <laughs> right. And this whole time, we as viewers just see, they keep replaying yes. Cody actually saying this thing, but everybody is taking Cody's side. 
Yeah. Not Candace's. She she was completely right. Yeah. But uh, the fragile people on the show. Well, I I was telling you as we were watching it, uh, the day the episodes aired, Mm -hmm. I was on Twitter and watching, I guess they got everybody to live tweet the show a little bit anyway, but uh, Amy was tweeting, I'm so sorry, Candace. I had no idea. Yeah. Cody's a piece of shit, <laughs> you know, basically. But you don't you don't see this stuff in the moment when you're there. So she had no idea, and it is pretty funny watching the chaos go on. Of course, but um, they were all just kind of separating the guys and the girls, which was it was co- it was common through both of these episodes, six and seven. Yeah, uh, the guys all went and. They went to the beach for a while. They buried Cody because he was so fucking pale. <laughs> he didn't want to get sunburned. But what, what was the line when he's laying down? Gus is fucking with him. Is, oh, yeah. He says, even when he's... How does his stomach still stick above his chest when he's laying on his back? Yeah. <laughs> and Cody's like, don't you talk about my belly. Don't you talk about my belly. He's like, oh, you're right. It does. <laughs> I'm even sucking in right now. <laughs> I mean, at least he does have a sense of humor about yes, himself to a degree, as crazy as he is. But they go out, they get drinks, and then they all ended up meeting up at a place called Tootsie's Yeah. toward the end of the night. And uh, was it at that point that that uh, they were all getting sick, or was it the next day? No, it was before they went to Tootsie's. Because oh, remember, that's right. they went to Tootsie's, and Courtney was wearing her caution tape like a pageant sack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was be- yeah, before that was the sickness. Yeah, they were all... Uh, they were all just a complete mess. Uh, Cody running in the house, holding his ass because yeah. he had his shit. Cody and, and uh, Nilsa had the runs, apparently. And yeah. Courtney, Amy, and Candace were all snotting. Yeah. Nilsa said, she was just, I'm just shitting my brains out. I'm just <laughs> shitting my brains out. And Jeremiah's like, really interesting. And, yeah, that's when Gus said all of this was starting to collagitate. 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 <laughs> So he goes out and he gets cleaning supplies, which include full hazmat suits. And he and Jeremiah and Cody were the only three that weren't sick and they weren't in the hazmat suits. Trying to clean the house. That's right, yeah, while Courtney was out and everybody else is dying. And that's when they discovered the loogie cup. The loogie cup. (laughs) These guys are dry heaving. Yes. Just (laughs) looking at the thing. (laughs) Yeah, because Courtney's one loogie from the last episode was one of many. Apparently, because we got a a, monta- a loogie montage. <laughs> yeah, they even had the night vision. Yes. I like that. <laughs> In the <laughs> middle of the night, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah and, and uh, Gus did not want to touch it. And then Gus goes, hey, Cody, I got a present for you. And he just starts to drive. <laughs> and then they drop it. That thing hits the floor. Bounces upside down. Oh, it's uh, like man. just imagining loogies everywhere. Everywhere. Although you don't see it spill, so I wonder if they just kind of... Solid- they, they coagitated. They coagitated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They must have crusted up in there. Oh, so gross. But it was definitely uh, one of the more entertaining yes, moments of the episode. But uh, I think it was after that. That's when Courtney came home, and they're like, we got your present. And they gave her a hazmat suit, yep. and she's getting all wrapped up into it. And uh, she decides sometime during that point to call Logan. Yeah, let him, let him know she's okay. She's right. back from the hospital. Gets a weird, like, the number you, you've reached kind of message, like one of those old school you don't hear on a cell phone kind of messages. So she calls her friend Raina who is currently roommates with Logan. Which, as soon as she said that, I got like a little red flag in my head, but as they progressed in the conversation, I was like, oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, it seemed, seemed weird, but uh, Raina just starts unloading about Logan. He's been lying about having a job, mm-hmm. uh, calling Courtney's mom mm-hmm. all the time, lying to her, and for whatever fucking reason, <laughs> Courtney's like, well, he's not lying to me. <laughs> yeah, that was that logic through this whole segment was baffling. Yeah. You can lie to everybody else. He's not lying to me. What? Yeah, well, and Candace is like, he might be Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> Candace and Gus are sitting there. I don't know why they were sitting together after all the arguing they, they've been doing. 
Well, they already didn't argue till the next episode, so. Well, they did a little bit before because of the the whole cop thing. Sure, but I think so, they got past it. Yeah, there there was there's been tension with them the whole season, really, so far. But they're both sitting there and they're trying to tell Courtney he's probably lying to you too, mm-hmm. but she's not having it. But uh, she does take Candace with her the next day to go sit and have ice cream with Raina and her mom. And, Courtney's mom, not Raina. Yeah, Courtney's mom. And uh, I love, they get their ice cream, and her mom says, better take a bite of your ice cream, and then unfolds this list. <laughs> like, legal pad-sized piece of paper, front and yes. back, notes. It's like she wrote a, like she's writing a letter to her Civil War husband, you know? <laughs> My dearest Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> and she just went through the list. Go Some stuff list. we already knew, like uh, Logan yelling at, at Courtney on the phone. And Courtney's sitting there like she's being chastised somehow. Right. Like a kid in the principal's office. It was an itemized list of all this crap that Logan's been pulling. Yeah. And for every bullet point, Courtney had an excuse. Yeah. Uh, one of the beefs was, with the mom had was that Logan came into the house and he and Courtney had sex, even though he promised mom that he wouldn't do that. And Courtney says, well, that's my fault. What, I, what phrase did she use? Was it doing it? Uh, doing the nasty. Doing the nasty. Yes. No doing the nasty under my roof. He promised he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Courtney says, it's my fault. And then uh, Logan took Courtney's car and was peeling out and doing like donuts in the road or something. And of course, yeah. well, that's my car. He can do it. Yeah. Ultimately, that that one's my fault because yeah. I let it. Like, it's like justifying every shitty thing that her mom is trying to point out to her. Yeah. It's my insurance. And uh, it, it just got one thing after another, even in the confessionals. She's like, yeah, he said this to my mom, but it was always a but and then right. the excuse right after it. And Which, Candace is sitting there just like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> you and I have both seen that, too. And, and a lot oh, of yeah. times when you're in that situation, when you're the one being told all this, you just naturally kind of try to do that and don't realize that you're making excuses. Yeah, you don't. You can't see if the forest or the trees. Yeah, you don't want to hear it, and you just... You're like, no, uh, you, you don't understand what we have. What this? <laughs> mm-hmm. You're <laughs> no. not in my shoes. You don't get it. Yeah, exactly. You don't see in private what we're like. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sure. But, you know, it, it's typical, uh, unfortunately. But uh, they, they get through that. And then uh, was it after? Yes, it was after that that everybody was kind of shit-talking Gator because he was coming the next day. Right. They were kind of going over. Well, first, the boys were out to dinner. They were having their oysters. Right. They had their oysters. And they were, they were kind of discussing it a little bit. And the the only key thing that really stood out in that conversation was Cody saying, I don't care about Gator J. I'll stand up to him if, yeah. if I need to. And like talking <laughs> tough about yeah. Gator J. But at least he did say in his confessional, like, two things are going to happen. Either I'll kick his ass or he'll kick mine. Yep. <laughs> so he's realistic about it. But they start shit-talking a little bit about what to call him. This was right... Well, they were at dinner because they were waiting for the girls to finish getting ready so they could go to Tootsie's. Yeah. When they got back from Tootsie's, and like it was when they were having the Gator J combo yeah, in yeah. the house. And they didn't, nothing too crazy happened to Tootsie's. Oh, what about the water buffalo? Except for, yeah, except for one thing. <laughs> Cody was on the prowl. He was, uh, yeah, <laughs> he was on the prowl <laughs> like tribes in the 1500s were on the prowl. <laughs> Looking for meat and warmth. Uh, yeah, there was a, a lady there who I don't think I would call cute. Um, and that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to shit talk to anybody. To their own? Yes. Uh, <laughs> as a man with salt and pepper chest hair. <laughs> uh, follow my Twitter, everybody. Uh, but, yeah, he was like, eh, I'll make out with her. She's going to buy me a beer. She gets to kiss me. It's a win-win. Win-win. <laughs> I'm like, this. there's zero win for anybody in this scenario. <laughs> but, yeah, and you do see Candace on the opposite end of the bar just looking with her jaw hanging open. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Well, to be fair, I would have been doing that, too, had I been there. Yes. <laughs> I don't think it had anything to do with the Cody and Candace dynamic at all. No. No, just she caught a shot of that, and it was like, what the fuck what is just going ha- What's on? going on? What hap- what's happening? <laughs> I need an adult. Yeah. But uh, that was that was really funny. That was the shit. only real thing that happened that night at the bar. Yeah, in the that bar was, scene. Not well, much. No, it's not. 
On the way home, Cody passed out in the taxi. Yeah. That's... <laughs> well, was that was that that night or was that the next night? I feel like. No, that was that, that was that was the Tootsie's night. Yeah, yeah, but that night they were that, that was the next night of the pass out thing, because they uh, that night they were kind of shit talking what what to call Gator and Cody was like I'm out of here and he goes upstairs. I think that was the next day. Yeah, but that was it was all before Gator happened. Yes, it was pre pre Gator. But they did go to uh, uh, a bar and one of the nights where I think it was Tootsie's again. I think they went there twice. Okay, maybe. And. There was a lot in these two episodes. Yeah, and Cody got really fucked up, and Nilsa and Amy decided to start spraying water all over him, poured it right on his crotch, and convinced him that he pissed himself. <laughs> that I pee peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he's stumbling out of the taxi, and the poor cab driver. Oh, when was, they tell him that, he's like, "What?" He's looking <laughs> down by his feet. <laughs> Because he doesn't know what they yeah. did. The cab drivers in Panama City Beach need to unionize and demand a raise. <laughs> it's fucked up. But it, it, he thought he pissed his pants, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> he even went into confessional. I guess I pee-peed my pants. <laughs> I poo-pooed my pants before, but I ain't never pee-peed my pants before. <laughs> That's a quote. And then he crawls under <laughs> the dining room table. Face to, plants. To face plants under. Like, that's his bed. Farts. Laughs about that. I tooted. <laughs> and that passes out. But then the other notable thing that happened that night at the bar was some woman walks up to Jeremiah and just says, you're hot. Oh, yeah. And he's like, okay. And then they kind of walk up. They're talking. She's like, you know, you were hot not talking to you. You're a 10 out of 10. And he's like, 10 out of 10 and just starts he making just, out with yeah. her. He just went for it right then. And yeah. Then. That was, she goes home with him, they have sex, and then at the end she's like, uh, as much as I like this twin size bed, I'm going to go home and sleep on my own. He's like, okay. Works for me. <laughs> Perfect night. Like, how great can that be? She just walks up, hey, you want to go home, and then I'm leaving right after. Mm-hmm. Like, it couldn't get any better. Zero effort. Yeah, he had he did nothing. Well, the years of bodybuilding, right. <laughs> if you want to count that. But yeah, just like nothing. It, it's almost like I imagine she's like, "Oh, I've seen that show. That's the hot guy. Like, I'm most, gonna go hook up, most likely, and I'm out. You know, that's all you need." It's warm in here. <laughs> You're getting all hot and bothered thinking about that girl Cody was with. Oh God, oh, that's like, uh, yeah, you know, if you skin her and wrap yourself around, you can live inside of her like a Wish tauntaun. You're a big fat person. <laughs> Uh, that's cruel. But Cody's not cute either, so there you go. It's, uh, you know. <laughs> it was a win-win, Kevin, as much as you don't want to admit it. it he was got a, a free beer out of it. He got a free beer. He is a bit of a whore. That's that's all there is to it. He's a make-out whore. Yes. Basically. But, uh, yeah, that's that's when we got toward the end of the episode, when Nilsa decided to start a bunch of shit. Yeah, she really she poked the hornet's nest. She was, uh... Oh, that yeah, that's when they were really heavily talking shit about Gator J. That's when that yeah, was. Yeah, that's how the episode ended. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Cody, was, Cody was done with all that stuff. He stayed out of it, but Nilsie went up. They're talking about how they're not going to call him by his name and stuff like that. They're not going to call him Gator J 231 Southside, Southside God. Southside God. God. Southside God. Yeah, and Gus was just because I'm not calling any man God because I'm strong in my faith. <laughs> yeah. Get the Jesus candles. Get the Jesus candles. Pray for my friends. Do lots of shots. Yeah, and they're they're deciding like he mu- he must have a soft name in real life. It's Skyler or Clarence. Clarence, uh, and I'm just like, it, it's funny because you know I have relatives with these names. <laughs> Skyler. Uh, that's my niece's middle name. Okay. And in Clarence, look, my grandfather was born in 1908. Like oh, very popular. Yeah, name. popular name yeah. back. Back in the turn of the century, so I had to laugh about it too, though. But uh, of course, Candace is all upset. It's like you're gonna call him by his name. You're gonna call him. Just call him Gator. Just call him Gator. That's fine. I'm not calling him a god. And <laughs> yeah, this is where we're blending into episode seven. Episode six, Nilsa spills the beans yeah. to Candace that they're talking about what they're gonna call him, and Candace storms out of the room to come confront them. And then episode seven picks up where. She gets downstairs and yeah. starts yelling at them. And they break it right in the middle. Yeah. It's pretty well done. But the one thing Amy says that kills me, uh, 
She's like, it's going to be eight seconds till Gus cries. <laughs> yes. As soon as Candace storms down to go yell at them. Yeah. Cut to Amy and confessional. You got about eight seconds till Gus starts crying. But that's when they break to episode seven. Yes. And the argument starts, the whole thing. Candace is yelling at, at Jeremiah, and he's like, I just meant it as a joke. I didn't mean anything by it, you know, whatever. And Gus is getting mad because he's not calling anybody God. I'm not calling a man God. I'm right. not calling a man God. <laughs> Strong in my faith. Yeah. It's like, all right, calm down. You're on You're on the cover of porn, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so what would Jesus do? Not porn. I don't know. Probably. Definitely wouldn't call a man God. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just so ridiculous. And sure enough. What is he doing? He's starting to tear up. He's hugging his pillow. Mm-hmm. He always hugs his pillows. Yeah, Amy nailed it. <laughs> He's getting teary-eyed. And was it Amy or Courtney that was down there kind of consoling him at that moment, too? At that point, it was Amy. Mm. It was one of them. It maybe, one of them yeah. maybe it was Amy trying to see Amy, if she, think, she was yeah. right. <laughs> but, yeah, he was just he was losing his mind over it, getting all upset. And that's when they get the little bro powwow outside. I'm just not talking to her anymore. I'm not talking to her <laughs> or N- Nilsa or Cor- or uh, Candace. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are not are now being shunned by the gentlemen of the house. Yeah, which lasted I don't know minutes. Basically, they weren't really completely shunned because they keep the shit going. That's, yeah, it just keeps going and going, snowballs and, and drags out. Yeah, it's it's nonstop. They keep poking and poking and poking. And uh, the big thing that did happen in that argument, though. Was Gus said to Candace, "You don't deserve to be called a woman." Yeah, which was a little rough. Everybody was like, "What the fuck did you just say?" Yeah, <laughs> even Jeremiah, his his uh, best friend forever. Yeah, hetero life. <laughs> the mate. Jared Gus. Yeah, even he was like, eh, "It's a little much." Yep, and I think I get his intent that you're not an adult; you're a kid. That's probably what he meant, because he doesn't seem like the kind of person that would be intentionally harmful. Keep in mind, he was very emotional. Right. He was just off a almost cry. A good cry sesh. <laughs> but that got uh, really bad, and Candace was just not letting like that if go. this was the Wonder Years, he would have heard the record scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Stern comes in. Yep. Yeah. But uh, she was not letting that go. Even turned it into a song. Yeah. I mean, everybody in the house was dancing. Uh, yes. Even Gus got in there like, well, let go of his cry and started clapping along <laughs> sarcastically. But the song was kind of funny. I mean, she catchy. just, yeah, playing with it. I'm a monster, not a woman. I used to be a woman, but today I'm a monster. <laughs> uh, and they got into all of that. And that was, that was pretty entertaining. And I think there was one point where even Cody came out and just like, just notice I'm not part of this. <laughs> Said I'm going to go get a beer and make some popcorn or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. He just wanted it to be known. He wasn't stirring any shit. He was leaving For the, the first gator time thing. In the history of the show. Yeah. He was leaving the gator thing alone yep. completely. So, uh, but the next morning, the ladies were all on the couches downstairs, mm-hmm. except Courtney. She was kind of with the guys at that point because she and Candace were just not connecting. Yeah. Candace was upset Courtney wasn't backing her up or whatever. And Courtney was being Switzerland. She's in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that means, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I liked, it, you pointed it out too, Cody just pounding shots as Gator was on his way. <laughs> yes. The closer Gator got to the house, Cody's just throwing him back. Yeah. <laughs> and Amy and uh, Nilsa were excited to meet him finally. But Candace is all nervous for Gator to meet everybody and he shows up and she opens the door well actually when he rang the doorbell Nilsa's reaction she loses her mind yeah screaming screeching clapping like a little kid getting a cupcake more than Candace yeah and even Amy was like what are you doing <laughs> she's like what I'm excited she looked like an idiot yeah she did complete buffoon and in the way Nilsa and Amy were falling all over themselves around Gator for the rest of the night too. Well, for most, most of the of night, it. most of the night, Amy stopped that at one point, but uh, it was ridiculous, just fawning all over him. And uh, Candace went and answered the door, and you kind of see him, and you go, okay. But then 
Gator and Candace are in the confessional, and you really get a good look at them. Yes. <laughs> You're just like, how many side teeth is he missing? <laughs> He's missing a few teeth on the side. Yeah. And uh, he, he looks kind of dopey. He's got a big, bushy beard. Big, unkempt. Unkempt, Completely. Yeah. Uh, almost like a baby Huey look to him. A little bit. A man bun. A poofy man bun. Big poofy man bun. Yeah. And uh, you can't understand most of what he's saying. Not a word. I could. You got some of it. I couldn't understand yeah. any of it. And I, I worked with a southern dude who kind of had that mush mouth thing. So I was used to that enough at one point where I could understand most of what he was saying. But they still subtitled everything. Yeah, I was relying on the subtitles every time he Yeah, talked. it was bad. Facts! <laughs> <laughs> That's a word he kept driving. Facts. Facts. <laughs> For those of you without subtitles, facts. Yeah. But that I wouldn't have understood without the subtitles. Right. He's like, Fire! <laughs> Just Some barfing out this word. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's there. <laughs> Gus's face. When the guys are all outside. Gus is just unhappy with Shaking his head, lip sticking out like a two-year-old. <laughs> like, I'm not going to go meet him. But then they all go in there and they say hi to him and introduce themselves. And then they start fighting as Candace is showing them around the house. Well, first she takes uh, Gator J out back to show him the pool and the yeah. boardwalk down to the beach. And as soon as they walk outside, Cody goes, I like him. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> and Kirk's like, yeah. And he tells some ridiculous joke, too, about uh, about being in jail. What was it? Oh, yeah. Um, so apparently Kirk's from well-off background. Yeah. And gets to sit courtside at Atlanta Hawks games. And yeah. Gator J says, I sit courtside, too. It's not that kind of court. Yeah. It was an awful joke, but they're all losing their minds laughing about like, it. Like, oh, we all have to be nice to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, all right. Was a, no, the Gator J. What a mess this whole situation was. It was a mess. And it's like, that's all the... Re- all the- While they're out back still, and Cody says he likes them, um, Gus and Jeremiah are just... They're standing behind the couch with their arms crossed, they're shaking their heads, <laughs> rolling their eyes in unison. They're mad because oh. he doesn't hate the, uh, the other two, Kirk and, and Cody. And they're just like, why are you mad at us now? Yeah. <laughs> but the, they're shaking their heads together like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Rolling their eyes in unison. <laughs> they officially spend too much time together. But uh, Then the argument starts upstairs. Yeah, in front of Gator. And they're all up there, and uh, they're talking about, uh, somebody mentions Amy crawling into bed with Candace or something like that. Yes. He's like, which translated to, at least you're in bed with a female, which, whenever the female is used like that, it weirds me out for some reason. It's like you're talking about breeding animals. (laughs) Well, we have the female over here. And I, I don't. It's a it's a recent. Uh, I guess I can't see of the word. that, but it, it's never bothered me. I don't know. It bugs me. And I've heard other people say kind of similar things. Like it's weird, and it's a more recent thing. Okay. But uh, I don't know. But he's like, well, at least you know. Oh, it's with a chick. That's what he keeps saying too. At least with a chick. Mm-hmm. And Gus starts laughing because he knows where it's going to go. Like, Let, let's see her spill this, and she does. She says couple times I was in bed with Cody, and Cody's just like tapping his leg. He's Cody's getting stomping nervous. his foot so hard, tapping his foot. His eyes are darting from side to side of the room. <laughs> yes. And how many shots has he had at this point? I don't even know. No, no clue. And he's just super nervous, and Gator is not having any of this. He's upset about it, but kind of lets it go. And then that's... Uh, as they're getting ready to go out to the bars, that's when uh, Candace gets a phone call from another guy. Reggie. Named Reggie, yeah, her former roommate. So now she's in bed with Cody. Reggie's calling. Gator's not having any of this. He's not happy. He's not happy at all. And he is jealous, but I can understand him being upset about all this stuff going on. All at like, once. It's his first time being around all this. Yeah. But to be fair, he actually handled it kind of well initially. Yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> kind of the way he handled the bikini contest right. stuff. And I could call the Reggie thing an overreaction 
if not for the being in bed with Cody thing just right. before that. Yeah, just stacking on top so of it. It's like, well, what are you doing with Reggie now if you're yes. in bed with this guy? So, yeah, it's all piling up really bad. <laughs> so they do go to the, the bar. I can't remember which one they went to. This was... Um, hmm. But it's the one that has, like... Miss Tweedies or something? Yeah, it was the one where the old guy was dancing at one point. The country bar. (laughs) Yeah. And Gator goes to play pool with the guys. They're all challenging each other with that, and they're they're fine. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, he throws the the game so he can go be with Candace, who's upset that he's playing pool instead of being with her. Spend time with her. And uh, then they get into a big argument. About he was kind of being a little rough on her in that one. Yeah, and she was being over dramatic, and he was being extremely insensitive in the combination of the two. It just it yeah, it was good. bad. It led to her crying, and Amy comes over. What's happening? What's happening? Now she's not on Team Gator anymore. Nope. She quit the team. <laughs> yeah, she's getting Candace out of there, uh, trying to figure out what's going on there. In the middle of that, meanwhile, Logan shows up. Oh yeah, crazy as always. His hat's on backwards. It looks like a nine-year-old because it's too big for his head. <laughs> He's like, hey, with everybody. Courtney doesn't really want to deal with him too much, but she she's in the middle. Fill, yeah, she tries to fill him in with what's going on in, in her world. Yeah. Because she hasn't seen him and has talked to him briefly on the phone. Yeah, and in the middle of it, he just bolts, and she's like, okay. <laughs> it looked to me like he saw somebody he knew Yeah, and like just took off in the middle of her sentence while she's starting to tell him all this stuff to go talk to his boy or something. It was it, weird. It's like, yeah, like he didn't hear a word she said Nothing. and just gone. And she's mid-sentence like, okay. And then starts having this kind con- walks over to Jeremiah, starts talking to him about how she's not getting along with Candace. She there had ha- stuff to get off her chest. Logan took off, so she yeah. just found the next closest friend to confide in. And she's in kind of normal mode. Yeah. And they're talking, and that's when Logan's like, come on, let's dance. <laughs> She's like, I'm having a conversation. You go dance. Like he grabbed her hand and tried to pull her away. This yeah. is my favorite song. You're going to dance with me. Yeah. <laughs> like, who gives a fuck? But it was pure jealousy. Like, oh, oh you're talking oh, to oh, Jeremiah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> pure jealousy. She pushes him away, puts her hand in his face, which is an issue later. <laughs> Big issue, apparently. <laughs> And pushes him away, and he's still trying. And even Jeremiah's like, you know, we're just having a moment here. And he's sitting, Logan's going, she's my girlfriend, she's my girlfriend. Jeremiah's like, yeah, she's like my sister. Mm -hmm. And we're having a conversation. (laughs) And Logan was just losing his mind. And even when they were leaving, he's being even more possessive, not letting Courtney be in the van right. to go back. She doesn't even want to deal with him at that point. You could see as soon as she sat down in the van, she was just over yeah. it. She Everything's exasperated. clicking in her head yeah. now. Like, okay, I'm starting to see what they're saying to me all this time. But uh and that just that just got worse. You have Gator and uh Candace, they go back, they're laying in bed together and they're kinda arguing and kinda not it's a quiet argument, but there's definitely tension there for sure. Yeah, Gator doesn't want to talk about it. Candace does, and he's like, I don't want it. It's just going to get ugly. Let's wait till tomorrow because it's going to get ugly yeah. if we talk about it right now. He's trying to calm the situation, and they still argue. He's like, I'm going to go get a room then if you don't want to talk. He's like, go get a room. Rolls over, and he doesn't move, of course. No, he you know. doesn't budge. It was a bluff. And then... Uh, Courtney <laughs> is downstairs talking to Jeremiah, like, what the fuck was that? And then that's when the phone rings, mm-hmm. and Nilsa answers. And then Logan goes nuts, thinking, <laughs> he says this, Courtney! He thinks he's talking to Courtney. Yeah. This dumbass doesn't know his own girlfriend's voice. <laughs> and they're two different. You, you can tell them apart. And... Nilsa was just like, what in the shit is going on here? She couldn't believe. Once he, Yeah, once she finally told, got through to Logan that it was Nilsa, not Courtney, he yeah. unloads on her. I need to talk to Courtney right now. You go fucking get her right now. You tell her she's got to come talk to me on the phone right now. You tell her the second she gets home. Yeah. Which, what? I don't know. Courtney was right there standing next to Nilsa during this whole thing. <laughs> Nilsa has this stunned look on her face. She just <laughs> drops the phone to her lap for a second just... Yeah. <laughs> Looks side to side. Goes, 
the confused look on her face, then it cuts to her confessional where she sits there silent for a second and then goes, What the hell was that? <laughs> It was bad. He's just uh, it's it's the the pure unfettered Logan that we've seen several times already this yeah. season. Unloading on Nilsa because she wasn't Courtney. And it gets worse. And it gets worse. It just gets it's ramping up to be bigger and bigger and crazier and it's just like what in the fuck is going on? But Courtney does take the phone. Jeremiah comes up and sits next to her. And they even for a while they kind of both lean in and mm-hmm. listen. She tilts it so he can hear and he's just going nuts. I don't give a fuck about Jeremiah. He's getting me really mad. He's going to get me really mad. He disrespected me three times. Yes. To the maximum. <laughs> it's just like Peter and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your candle and tell us to be strong as faith. <laughs> and the cock crowed. Oh, fuck. I'm just... Even she was starting to laugh at it. But she literally said, "Are you high? Yeah. Are you stoned?" Like, Kirk is up at the top of the say. stairs. Like, what the fuck is happening? The the best part. The best line. I'm a man. I have testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremiah got to hear that one. Yeah, he was which laughing. Was great. And then his confessional. He's like, "I don't know what he's threatened by," and he's uh, like making his pecs he's dance. Doing the pec jiggle. Yeah, Chi-Chi's up. <laughs> And there you go. Now you did it. <laughs> I didn't throw my back out doing it, though. Like some people Listen, here. Just because I'm at a certain age doesn't mean <laughs> I threw my back out. But, yeah, he's like, I don't know what Logan could possibly be jealous of. And he's doing all that. But I think she's finally seeing what's happening. Yeah. And which is good. I mean, it's clicking. Everybody's telling her. And then he just... Decided to go chaos at the right again. time, at the perfect time for her to understand, okay, they're right. So when it's all still swir- swirling in her head, but she hangs up on him, that's over with, and then the phone rings again. <laughs> and it's, it has to be probably at this point, 2 a.m. Easily. I would guess, because the, the Reggie call... Uh, Gator was complaining that it was at 10 at night, some guy's calling her. Right, and then so they went out. That was 10 o'clock before probably, they went out. Probably closed the place down. Now, if I remember correctly, I think the bars closed at 3 or 4 out there. Yeah. I can't remember 100%. It's been years. I, I, I'm sure. And, uh, and that Actually, party... they didn't close it down. They had to drag drunk-ass Amy out, and she couldn't walk down the stairs. Yes. So they probably did not <laughs> close it down. Yeah. So, but, but still late. Still, it, it, in the very earliest 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. And the phone rings, and Nilsa answers it. <laughs> it's a dude with an Indian accent asking for Candace. For Candace. So we know it's not Reggie again. We we don't know who this guy is now. Yeah, so the Reggie call happened. Like, we knew about the Cody thing. You and I have seen that already. Then the Reggie calls hap- call happens, and she's explaining to Gator, Jay, he's my old roommate from college, whatever. Yeah. Is it weird that he called her at the house? A little, but I was yeah. like, okay, whatever. Now we got another dude calling at God knows what time, <laughs> looking for Candace. Like, what the fuck now is Now I've this? got questions. Yeah. And Nilsa, she's just like, and and they did through episode six, kind of lay out, Candace is a little bit of, of a chaos maker. We don't see a lot of that in the first season, really. Right. But Or they don't focus on it, maybe. That's what it is. But they did focus on it a little bit more. And Nilsa's dumbass. She's like, uh, okay, I'll go get her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's in bed with Gator. Nilsa's trying to whisper to her. And she's like, what the fuck? She goes. <laughs> Gator even sticks his head up. He goes, what are you whispering for? Just yeah. say that shit out loud. <laughs> she goes to answer the phone. Who is this? And Gator's like, grabs the phone. I'll talk to him. Grabs the phone. Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> and just... She snatches it back and he hangs up. He yeah, clicks he the thing. A little click thing on the yeah. landline phone. And again, I understand his frustration after at this point. I a hundred percent a whole night of it. And he's like, "All right, what the fuck is going on?" And she's mad at him. He's mad at her. And she, she tells, tells him, him to pack his shit. Yeah, and get out. Pack his shit and get out. And he, I think he was leaving anyway. It seemed like it. Yeah, and. uh that was pretty much where that ended. That is where the episode ended. The next one, I don't think we see Gator 
after this. I think he's done. There might be a shot of him getting into the cab or something. Yeah. Who knows? I think that's the end for them. Pretty much. He seems like he's not putting up with bullshit. Um, but the, <laughs> the trailer for the next episode shows Courtney taking a pregnancy test. And... <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. It's faint. I can't tell what it is. But... No, you do. You did see the pregnancy test, so I just we don't need serial killers breeding. No, not a, no, we don't. Yeah, I mean there there was one guy in the Manson family, Tex Watson, was that his name? He had children from prison through conjugal vi- like that didn't need to happen. Logan is right there. I, I don't need Logan's children He's in, in the world. Yeah, yeah, and uh, oh, I hope she's not pregnant. We'll find out next week. Yeah. Season three. Oh, I'm sorry, not next week. It's two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. They're taking next two week weeks off. Oh, because man, the, i got to wait that long? Yeah, <laughs> the VMAs. So, Maybe DM her on Twitter or something. Find out <laughs> Find out if she's pregnant. I'm sure her avatar shows her and a baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, season three could get interesting. You're bringing a kid into the house? She's just breastfeeding, walking around. Who, who cries more, the baby or Gus? <laughs> Oh, that's close. That's close. She's taking the baby out to Tootsie's. <laughs> La Vela. She's in the bikini Miss contest. New- Miss Newbies. That was the name of the country one. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Newbies. Uh, yeah. I God, I hope not. I mean, as interesting of a storyline as that is. Yeah, I don't want to see that This story. is real people. No, and all I, joking aside, I don't want to see that story. No, 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 no. I mean, oh, the consequences that's... for humanity. <laughs> it's just going to be one more person that, that Cody's going to make out with sooner or oh. later. <laughs> Damn it, that's true, and I hate it. Hopefully, nineteen years from now, but still, <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, they were an eventful couple episodes. It, they fit together. It was good that they aired them together. But uh, I don't know. So we got the pregnancy cliffhanger. We don't know what's happening with Gator J. Yeah, I, I, I think he's gone. I think this is it for him. I don't think we see him again. But Logan, that's going to get worse. Yeah, that's going to get. That is definitely, definitely going to get worse. He's going to show up somewhere where they are. It, it was almost like when he showed up. I don't know if Courtney told him where they were going. It didn't look like she was expecting him. Yeah, she was just kind of surprised. They didn't address it in the show. So he could be stalker level, following her around. I don't know. It's not good, and it's. I think a fight could happen with him. Oh, for sure. It could be. I mean, we haven't really seen Jeremiah fight. We haven't. Uh, we also, in brief, in in the preview of next week's, there's some sort of issue between Kirk and Jeremiah, and when Kirk trigger goes off, he's a maniac. Yeah. So maybe that was the thing, and Jeremiah was trying to calm him down. Who it looked knows? like Jeremiah was holding him back from yeah. the fight. Maybe Kirk fights maybe with Logan. Kirk goes off. That could know. be fun. Yep. Crazy on crazy. I could enjoy that. But, yeah, two weeks we have to wait for that. But we'll get there. Your fault. Yes. <laughs> Your kid's fault. <laughs> Thanks to the school schedule. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm glad we could get a reasonable episode. Yeah, we we, done. we, we squished two into one episode. Yeah. Came but, out shorter than the others. Might have been a little incoherent, timeline wise, but yeah, it was it was just a lot. We hit all the key points. A lot going on. So, but uh, thanks for tuning in for that. Um, don't forget, you can listen to Prime Cutler if you like Yo, reality check shows. It out. Kevin said he takes time out of his day to break down that wonderful That's right. show. <laughs> It's entertaining. Not much Jay this week. We'll hope for yeah, next unfortunately. week. But uh, next week looks promising. But we have Put It Together, No Cry Zone, um, Glory Hound and the Uninvited Gamers. I always forget that. She just got done with a con, too, so she'll, she's probably got some good stories. Yeah. I, I know they've done some video for that, and uh, they're going to do more video content for that show, which is cool, because when it's gaming, you kind of want to see what's going yeah. on. Um I'm hoping we do a whole wrap up for our season of uh, Blood Bowl because that was fun. Hmm, I, I didn't participate. Yeah, but. for for me, for the first time getting in that level of gaming, it was a lot of fun. So uh, I was terrible at it, but <laughs> it's an experience. I, I won two games. I didn't do too badly. There you go. 
<laughs> this is as well as I did in fantasy football last season. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of that on there. Um, iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you find podcasts, look it up. So, um, until two weeks from now, I'll say, uh, good night, good luck. <laughs> Don't get pregnant by Logan. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get knocked up by a serial killer. <laughs> and remember, collagitate. Collagitate. <laughs> so, this is Kevin Moyers. I'm Frankie G. And we'll see you next time. Subscribe to Florabama Slammers at abnormalentertainment.com slash slammer. Listen to every episode on Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, our YouTube channel, or anywhere you get your favorite podcasts. Tweet Frankie G at F3 The Missile. And tweet Kevin Moyers at Kevin Moyers. And find more great shows, comic books, books, audiobooks, and more at abnormalentertainment.com. You've been listening to the Abnormal Entertainment Network.